Myopia is a condition in which partly light passes through the eye and focuses in front of the retina. Therefore, nearsightedness is an eye disorder characterized by blurred distance vision caused by negative refractive errors when the eye grows too long for its optical power. The prevalence of myopia varies depending on the country or race we study. For example, in US, the prevalence is of 25%. However, in females, it is higher than males. In China and Japan, myopia prevalence is daunting, about 60%. On the other hand, whites have a higher prevalence than African Americans. Furthermore, nearsightedness is associated with blindness and justifies 8.8% of all the causes of it. Many studies have shown that people who spend more time outside are less likely to suffer from health problems related to myopia. It was observed that myopia is more frequent in people who live in urban areas than rural areas. The reason is that in urban areas, dominate jobs that require office work and near work. BESOD explains how the retina activates different pathways of genes depending on the signals it receives from the environment. One pathway makes the eyes grow small and the other one to grow big. If you get small eyes, you'll develop hyperopia, while with big eyes, myopia is developed. In hyperopia, the rays meet behind the retina, and in myopia, they meet before the retina. Studies showed that children with myopic parents tend to have a greater chance of developing myopia than those without myopic parents. 14.9% if there's only one myopic parent, and 43.6% if the two of them are myopic. High myopia is often found to be transmitted through families in Mendelian patterns, including autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, and X-linked recessive inheritance. Refraction is determined by ocular biometric components such as axial length, anterior chamber depth, corneal curvature, and lens thickness. There is a relationship of axial length to refraction. The longer the eye, the more myopic the refractive error. Moreover, as axial length includes anterior chamber depth, this one has the same effect on refraction. On the other hand, corneal curvature stiffness is more likely to result in myopia, and increased lens thickness correlates with increased myopia, and these rates represent the irritability of the different ocular components. As a conclusion, there are lots of limitations when studying myopia, like study population characteristics, age, demography, living area, job, diet, or the use of experimental animals due to genome differences with humans. It is important to determine which common factors and parameters are going to be studied when investigating myopia, so the information could be valid in all the cases and different experiments can be compared. More researching and investigation regarding this eye condition are very needed and should be the main priority for governments and laboratories in order to decrease the prevalence and severity of short-sightedness or myopia.